been a dream of ours now yes. for like the last six months plus. Oh. I mean, we have been oh, talking wow. about. At least. Um, At least. Yeah, say hello, say good morning. I can't really see in this one, Mom, so you better okay. pay attention more to that Hi, one. Hi, Facebook. But, um, we're all here. We're yeah. all here, but these are my brother's famous pretzels. Mm. And why do you think you've become so famous for him? Well, who doesn't like a pretzel? Come on. <laughs> I mean, give me a break. It, it's a perfect day to go to Bavaria. Let's make these things. Oh, and when you say that, people kidding. probably don't know what you're talking about. So say that. What What do you mean, take us to Bavaria? Listen, you know, a few years ago, I went over and saw mom and dad over in Germany. And when they were living over there for a short time. And I fell in love with pretzels. You know, I oh. mean, who doesn't love pretzels, like I said. But I came back and I said, I have got to learn how to make these things. <laughs> and you know what? I, I was fortunate enough to go to the internet, tweak a couple of things, and you know what? We've got some, these things are amazing. Yeah. yeah this guy's got some food nanny in him. Yeah, he oh, does. More than a little bit. Big time. Yes, more than he a little does. Yeah, he sure does. Okay, so <laughs> this is my oldest brother before we get into all of it to just explain to new followers that don't even know who we are. Right. We're the mom and daughter duo for the food nanny account if you're new to following. But this is my oldest brother. So my mom had him. And then six more children, and I'm the baby. So is that not hilarious? So it this is, is we are. <laughs> this is David, and we are 16 years apart. He actually drove my mom to the hospital to deliver me. It was a wild ride. It was a wild ride, wasn't it? Yes. He had barely gotten his driver's license. Yeah. And I said, oh, my goodness. Um, our, my husband, Steve, was a pilot, and he was flying mm -hmm. at the time. And it David was. had his license, I think, two weeks. Back? Oh, yeah. No, a week. Well, yeah, just a couple weeks. A week, yeah. I think it was more like a week. And my water broke, and I said, David, you're not going to believe this, but I need you to drive me to the hospital. <laughs> Let's get moving. Let's get moving. <laughs> so he was running around trying to find his shoes and everything. Yeah. And I, it was so funny. It was oh. so comical. We could have made a movie. Oh, oh. well, every day could be a movie yes. with this family. That's honestly. true. <laughs> Just put hitting cameras on us and we're crazy. You got but that straight. But it's <laughs> so funny because we were reminiscing of, over Christmas just talking about like, I don't know what life was like and life was so much different for him and for me mm -hmm. so it's so funny to reminisce about it but David funny. but David was the one that inspired me to get the food nanny meal plan going because it was <laughs> him that came home from school on Friday after after kindergarten and I said David what do you want to eat and you said pizza of course. <laughs> and every Friday night thereafter that's what we had <laughs> Pizza. <laughs> but, uh, but I didn't know how to make pizza. Well, I it never stopped. Out. I found out. It never stopped after that. <laughs> it so never it stopped. Out. Okay, so David, tell us how he says that everybody can do this. Look, anybody can do these things. They may look hard, and, and you know, I mean, they're, they're a work of art, let's be frank. But the, everyone can do these things. In fact, I'll be very honest with you. If you can master this recipe, which anybody can, you'll never be alone. You'll never be alone. So we want to get started started on this? Yes, get yeah. started. Okay, let's start out with one and one quarter cup of warm water. I've already had this prepared. And let's get let's get the uh, yeast in here. Very important that you get the yeast in there and get it mixed Wait, up. We can't see it. And then get it covered. Okay. okay, that's all right. Sorry, bring it over here. We've got the yeast here. Let's mix it up. I always like to you know, you can whisk it. You can do whatever you want just to get it mixed in the water there. <laughs> you want it all in there. Get that yeast going. You can Those, add your sugar. Yeah, we're going to add Add just a little, just a pinch of sugar. You know, realistically, we're going to do one teaspoon of sugar, but I, I've been doing this so long, I can do it with a pinch. Oh, oh wow. Okay. okay. I know what I'm doing, okay? <laughs> Cover that up. Cover that up and let that sit for a minute, all right? Oh, so you do the same thing as us. Yes, we cover of it up. Yes. Well, where did I learn it from? Okay, okay. <laughs> Come on, that's where I learned it. You know that. All right, now we've got that going. That's gonna, we're going to let that go until it gets foamy, right? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and get our kamut in. And you can do all of this by hand if you want. You don't have to use a mixer. Um, a lot of people, if you've got them, great, but if you don't, that's fine too. You can, make, you can make these pretzels without a mixer. It's good to do this for about four minutes, and then I like to hand knead it for the other four. But you know, if you've got the mixer, it, boy, it sure is a lot easier. Let's get the kamut in there. And you know, I'll tell you what, I transitioned from the regular flour to the kamut 
um, you know, some time ago. And what a difference in the way that it tastes. What a difference in the way that I feel. Um, we didn't talk about this at the beginning, but I had MS. And I'll tell you what, this Kamut is the only way to go. Because for those of you who do have MS or any neurological disorder of any kind, really, this MS works really well with that. Wow. And David just recently found Kamut out really that well. he has MS. That's right. And how was it, David, that you found out that you did? Well, my whole right arm went numb, you know? Yeah. And it really hasn't come back. And then my left eye went out on me. I've only got about 30% of my left eye, so you guys are going to have to watch this. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> but you wouldn't know it because when you see oh. him, he seems so normal and he's oh, so... He's so handsome. He's, oh, he's so listen, handsome. Well, come on. Listen. Well, that not gonna make him handsome. No, but we. <laughs> Nobody's we, handsome here. <laughs> I, I can tell. I can tell you this, ladies. This recipe, <laughs> if done right, will change your life. It absolutely will. So we've got the five cups of kamut in here. Okay. The next thing we want is we want one and one half teaspoon of salt. Now we're using the gray salt, the French stuff, okay? <laughs> I know that you guys are familiar with this, and let's face it, the French do it better than anybody, especially when it comes to the senses. They get it, don't they? Yeah. Oh. They absolutely get it. We know that about the French, and we love that about the French. Oh, we so do. So we've got the one and one half teaspoon salt, one half cup sugar, that goes in. Make sure those dry ingredients get mixed in. At this point, you wanna make sure that you're mixing the dry ingredients in, okay? That's very important before we start adding the wet ingredients. So kinda... Now, this is, it's very simple. The original pretzels were, all they were, were water, flour, and salt. That's all they were in the beginning. So this is very, very simple. Not very many ingredients they at all. They didn't have sugar in the beginning? No, they didn't do sugar in these. When the monks in Munich decided they were going to make these things for the little kids when they came in to give their prayers, yes. all right? They call them little rewards, right? So it's very simple. This is not hard at all. So okay, we, well, somebody hits on that they, they're saying it's so awesome that it really does help autoimmune disease. Yeah, it really does. Um, the, the Kamut does. The Kamut, and, and not only that, it tastes better. Oh. It's not just the fact that it will help you if you've got a, you know, a neurological or autoimmune problem, but the fact that it tastes so much better than the regular flour, mm. too. Mm. You know what I mean? It's amazing. Really, it is. So we've got the dry ingredients mixed in, which is amazing. Now, we've had this, we've had the, uh, you know, we've had the yeast going now for a sufficient time. We've got it... Uh, Bubbling there. We say foamy. up to five to ten minutes. Yeah, five to ten minutes. It's not, there's, again, this, this is not rocket science. But this it's is not perfect. hard. But it should look about like that. So go ahead and add that. Foamy. Okay, just you add put, it right here. Add it right in. Okay. Then we're going to do the one tablespoon of re canola. regular canola oil, yeah. which is easy. And then this is a big part of it here. This is one, one tablespoon of honey, okay? A lot of people don't do this with pretzels, but I'll tell you, I've, I've done this and it makes all the difference in the world. Wow, all the difference we love world. honey. Yes, the recipe is actually already on the website. It's at thefoodnanny.com right now. We posted it. And we put the cutest, I put the cutest picture of both of you holding the pretzels from like a is while right? ago. Oh, nice. It's so cute. <laughs> so yes, That's we so honestly- We're dying over these pretzels because when David had us over for the first time when he made them, we were like, what? Well, you we made these? These? We were like, what? He's like, you better get over here to try these things. <laughs> but guess what's fun about this too? I think it's perfect for New Year's. It's the perfect it is. Oh, it is. to make tonight. Because he's going to tell you all the different ways and how to make them into bites, too. Yeah, no, the bites are... So this will be so fun. The bites are really popular. Now, once you've got the wet ingredients in here, we're going to start to mix this thing up. But understand something here. There's <laughs> not going to be enough water in this. So you're going to have to watch it. You're going to have to add some more water to this. And really, you're going to eyeball it, okay? So if we start to mix it up, and you're going to see that it's pretty dry. But that's okay. We're going to get some more water. Kind of like our rules, when we how we show you how to make bread. Add, slowly add more water until it has about the consistency of what you would see bread dough. That's about right. Can you substitute hey. all the other sugar for just more honey? You know, I, I bet you could. You can. Yeah, I've you never can. done that, but I know that you could. But you can. Yeah, I know you can. Now, again, we're eyeballing it, ladies. This is not science, <laughs> okay? This is an art. 
<laughs> when Rodin, when he decided he wanted to, you know, sculpt things in Paris, there was no, you know, recipe. This is, this is an art. <laughs> I love it. This is making my New Year right now, oh, right? This New Year's David, Day. David, why do you think they're so perfect for New Year's? Well, you know, the, the Germans, they actually, pretzels are very popular with the German-speaking Exactly. And I can tell you this, they, this was a New Year's tradition in Bavaria. The, the kids would eat pretzels, they would hang them around their neck back in the Middle Ages. I mean, it's, it really coincides with the New Year. It's an amazing thing. So we're watching the clock. We're going to go about four minutes. Again, this is not something that is set in stone. Watch it. Do it about four minutes because we're, we're about to take this thing out and we're about to get our hands in the dough. Can you do no, this by hand? Or you can. Be and I've done, I've done it by hand many times. Oh, okay. You can do this by hand. But you prefer this? No, no, no. I prefer this just because it's easier for the first few minutes. Oh, okay, I can tell you right now, some of the best batches I've ever made are all by hand. Okay. But it's critical that you do get your hands in the dough. Well, that's okay. why it would be better by hand, because you get such a feel for yes. it, like we always yeah. say. We do add no our hand. bread by hand, David. Right. Well, that's the, <laughs> well, good. That's the way it's done. I know. So, okay, so he added just enough water so it comes away from the sides of the bowl. And that's what we teach you in our bread making. Okay? So that's all he's done. At this point, it's going to look very much like your normal bread dough. Right. Okay? And the reality is, that's what it is at this point. It's not a pretzel yet. No. We've that's got to, right. We've got to transition it to a pretzel here a little <laughs> bit later. All right? That's okay, all but you want to know something fun. Another fun fact about David is he's got four girls. And this is, and this is like a big, look at him, big crazy like football Law enforcement dude, and he got four girls. Four yeah. girls. Four girls, and he's got a beautiful wife. Beautiful and, wife. And they he, just celebrated their 25th anniversary, anniversary yesterday. yesterday. You know, I've never regretted having those four girls. No. I can tell you that. I've never regretted it. Oh, that's never so once. nice. Oh, it's an amazing thing. That's, yeah. that's so nice. So, so you can see how this is kind of coming along. It's going to get to a point, you know, after two or three or four minutes where it's not mixing as well as you would like it to mix and that's exactly what you want don't be afraid of that okay what we're going to do is we're going to transition now we're going to take it out and where's my little mat here um, oh, it's over there, Dad. okay let's get the mat oh here right here okay. let's get the mat and we don't use that so tell us why you love okay, that right no 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 i love the mat okay, yeah tell us got... why well it's more sanitary for one thing <laughs> you know but secondarily to that i just like it again the french have the french know what they're doing <laughs> okay, this is a French invention. Now we get it out, and as I gotta tell you, this is one of the most important parts of this whole thing. You know, like so many other things in life, um, if you don't get your hands in the dough, it's just not the same, right? Yeah. You gotta get your hands in the dough, and when you're making anything bread like, if you don't get your hands in it, it's just not going to be the same. Now this dough is a little bit wet and that's okay. It's a little, it's a little wetter than I would normally see it, but not too much, it's okay. I, I might have put just a tad too much water in there. But this will be more than enough and it'll be okay. It looks perfect to me. Yeah, yeah no, it looks it's good. good. It looks a lot like the bread dough that you would normally see. Sometimes it comes out a little dry. It's never gonna come out the same every single time and that's, that's what's so great about it. That's why it is an art because it's not the same. But these pretzels, let me tell you a little bit about pretzels. Yeah. Um, because honestly, I have a passion for these things, if you can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely do. I know, I know you do Pre it. Pretzels, I can't stop laughing. Can, pretzels came around in the 12th century in Germany. Now, the Italians will tell you otherwise, that they, they had a hand in it. But for the German-speaking peoples, about the 12th century, they started to give these things out to the kids when they would say their prayers. The monks would give them. And you can see the, the folded arms. Grab a pretzel for me. You see the crossed arms on those things? And they, that's what it represented. It represented prayers to God. And that's why the monks would give them out as these special little so treats. So would this be at church? Or just well, yeah, they would come to the priests and they would say their prayers. The Catholic Church had a lot to do with this. Okay. This is where it came. The okay. Catholic monks. So fast forward a few years. 
um, you go, we go to Vienna, Austria, another German-speaking group of people, and the Turks were invading Vienna. Yeah. Well, the monks were down in the basement making okay, pretzels. Okay, say it over here. <laughs> the monks were down in the basement making pretzels, and what happened was is they heard the Turks trying to tunnel into Vienna, and they ran and told them. They said, hey, something's going on here. Well, it turns out that, you know, the police and the army were alerted, and they came and they were able to stop the Turks from going into Vienna. Well, the emperor of Austria gave the monks an actual coat of arms that has a pretzel on it that's still around to this day in Vienna. What? They still have it. Absolutely. Wow. No, and it's neat. And it, the other thing that's that's great about it, you fast forward another hundred years, and they used to use these in Switzerland. They the, the bride and the groom, when they got married, they would be at the altar, and they would pull the pretzels apart, much like a wishbone we do today, and that's where the term tying the knot came from. Wow! 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 wow. Who knew that? You guys, he is such a history. Yes. Whoa! David I mean, knows everything about history. You want to know something fun. special too? That's kind of fun. That's going on he's doing twice a month with all of the grandkids and us i'm learning so much so am I. and we come over and he gets to he sits and talks with us in candlelight it's right fun. it's yeah. so fun and he gives us the with, best um the not not just a candle a a torch a, a, well, a lantern no a, a lantern, lantern. Yes, a, a lantern, lantern. lantern. Lesson series. okay yeah. sorry well anyways it's amazing it's a lantern lesson oh you've got series. mac and um aaron are loving this david oh, wonderful <laughs> well then then after that so let me let me take the the, the history of the pretzel a little bit further okay. so you go a little bit further down the road into the 18 18th century 1700s a lot of german immigrants came to america and where did they settle Mom, Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, right? Yes. The Pennsylvania Dutch, right? Yes. They started making pretzels there. Well, the first commercial pretzel endeavor in America came out of Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, the Pennsylvania wow. Dutch, okay? They started making pretzels in America. And, and clear up until the 1930s, this was the only way pretzels were made, by hand. They were not industrialized and made by machines until the mid-1930s. So most of the time, for, throughout history, that's how people have made pretzels, by hand, getting their hands in the dough. So you're never adding any more flour? No, absolutely not. Okay, so you're just kneading for what, a couple about, minutes? About four minutes or so. Again, it's not a science. It's an <laughs> art, Lizzie. It's an art. <laughs> well, guess okay. what? They want to know. Believe me. They'll well, be asking oh, these questions after. No, no, no. I understand that. Okay, so we... <laughs> and that's good. Ask the questions, ladies. So we get, we're going to get into a ball. We form it into a ball like this. And we're going to get our, our, uh, we need a bowl. Oh, yeah. Now Someone just said, that I'm from Lancaster. That's okay. amazing. Yeah. So well, then they're from, you know, the Pennsylvania oh, Dutch. Whoa. Okay, look at Wow, look, look at, at that. this. Well, this, is, this is what happens after. What is going on? Know, just a second. We need to show that. You should have shown yeah, that. Yeah, well, we need to show that. Um, it's in there, in that room. So we'll, what we'll do is we'll put the dough that you've just kneaded into another bowl but we're going you're going to spray it first or a little olive oil you can do either one you okay. can do either one i typically spray it okay. with the cooking oil or the cooking so go oil. ahead you so do it you show us how you do it okay you want to get it all around like this <laughs> okay now make sure that you get that because it's it's important that we get the spray in there okay now take take the dough Turn it over. Turn it over like, okay. you, like you would do any bread. Okay, yes. what's different at this point, right? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So he, he added the water until it came away from the sides of the bowl. And, um, and but, but I, I like how he used this for four minutes, the machine right. for four minutes, but you didn't in the beginning. Why did you go to the machine, you said? It just makes it easier. Okay. It just makes it easier, especially if you've got a right hand that you can't feel. Yeah, okay. You know? <laughs> Oh. So that's what it is, right? I okay. mean, it's just easier. I prefer the hand uh, kneaded method all the way through. I really do. Okay. But the machine is fine. If you've got a machine, use it. If not, use your hands. Okay. Okay. So now we've got this covered, and we'll put this in a warm place. We'll put a towel down underneath it because David's he's got this darling, beautiful kitchen. I don't Tell know. Tell him how you just see. moved over here. Well, we just moved over to Utah's version of Berberia over here in <laughs> yes, Midway. Yes, we did. Right? Yes, I mean, that's exactly. what this is. Yes. These have been raising over by the fire for the last hour. Now, you're going it, to, again, it's not a science, it's an art. If you, you want to see that dough double in size at least, 
and it usually takes about an hour to do it. When you get it out, press it down. Again, get your hands in that dough, okay? Does he show that? It's oh, therapeutic. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna start, where well, it is therapeutic. It's cathartic, you know, in so many ways. It's, so you're not using a rolling pin or anything? Not right now, but I, I will use a rolling pin in a minute. Again, at this point, it's a lot like pizza dough, food nanny, you'll recognize yeah. this. <laughs> Right? David's been making pizza dough since he was about 16. So I taught him to do the pizza dough, and you had all your football buddies over, didn't you? Yes, we did. We made homemade pizzas literally all night long, which was amazing, from scratch. Yeah. So get this out. Now here, again, this is, this is preference at this point, yeah. all right? How yeah. much, how, no, you can't see how it. big do you want your pretzels to be? How thick do you want them? Those are, those are some questions. If you're making a little bit smaller pretzels, roll this dough out and make it really thin. If you want a little bit larger pretzels, make sure that it's a little bit thicker. Today, we'll probably hit it right about the middle, but I'm gonna show you how to do this. Again, it's not hard. It's not hard. Don't make too much out of this, all so right? So you've got your marble Yeah, do you like pan. to use this more than the wood? Yeah, the, well, I like the marble. Yeah. Do you? Yeah, I think it's, that, he it's heavier. It's heavier, and it's good. Get it rolled out. Get it rolled out. But you, again, you don't want to take it too far, or they're going to be too small. Once you get it to about this point. So what would you say? What is this thickness? About an eighth, or no, about a quarter. Well, you guys are the experts. Quarter. Well, exactly, you a quarter tell me. of an inch. You tell me, ladies. <laughs> I'd say it's got it about a quarter of an inch. A lady right said she absolutely loves that you're so passionate about your pretzels. Oh heavens! Oh. Listen, <laughs> if you're not passionate about, if you're not passionate about cooking or anything else for that matter, you're not going to do it well. People, it's been my experience, people are good at things in life that they're passionate about, right? Right. If exactly. you're not passionate, forget it. Don't even bother, ladies. <laughs> but I promise you, if you are passionate, you're going to love this. This is killing me. Okay. Oh, this is so good. It's so oh, once, so so once so you good. get it to this point, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to cut it right down the middle. I'm like crying. I'm laughing. Right down so the middle. Okay, right down the middle. Okay, we're trying to get 12 pretzels out of this, all right? But again, you don't have to get 12, all right? If you want fewer than that, if you want bigger pretzels, great. We're gonna, we're gonna start here. We're gonna go one, okay. two, three, four. So you didn't even start right in the middle? Okay, you one, just... two, three, four, five, six, see? Yeah. There's 12. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, so we got this. We're gonna take these and kind of move them out of the way a little bit. Okay. And we're going to start rolling these things out. Now, this is when they start to become a pretzel. You know what? I need the I need the dipping water. Yeah. Okay. So we. Okay. So, so we've got. We're gonna make them. This is this is at this point is where they become pretzels. All right. We need four cups of hot water. We need four cups of hot water. It's gonna go into this dipping pan for us. Now you roll these things out. Get it to the point where they look like it's pretty symmetrical, okay? Roll it out just like this. You can take them, you can go like this if you like. You can do all sorts of things. We typically like them to be about 20 inches long. They don't have to be 20 inches. Again, it's, it's, it's an art. I can't say that enough. <laughs> so we take them. He's got this down. He I'm, has it down. He's got this down. David, you need to do that much slower next well, time. I will. Okay. So, okay. are you going to tell them how, yeah, they, the pretzel bite, are you going to tell them how to do yeah, that Yeah, we're going to talk after? about pretzel bites. Too. Yeah, first we're going to talk about that. First, he's going to form these. Okay, well, show again how you yeah. formed it. You he went way to too fast. Those. Well, we're going to keep going here. Okay. <laughs> we're going to do them again. This is a little bit thicker one here. Okay. okay. So, do you ever feel like you can get the dough too rough? Or like um, other bread dough, do you know what I mean? Like maybe they over mix or add it too much. Too and it's, dry. It's too no. dry. You can you can get it too dry. You don't want it. You want it pretty smooth and consistent like this. It's a little bit wet, but it's not tacky wet. You know okay. what I mean? It looks perfect. So you to you, me. you roll it out like this, and again, okay. you, and again, every pretzel's different. It's like a snowflake. Every pretzel is different. And you know, pretzels. Be, I'll tell you, they also became they. They turned into being true love is what they became. That's what they became. Really? That's, oh, that's, that's... I think that's why he loves them. He's such a lover. <laughs> I, am, I am a lover. He's such a lover that he loves the tie and the knot. David, David, you're... Yeah, you got to show that. Out. Okay, okay, show up close, Lizzie. Let's the, the, let him... The pretzel tying is very easy. You get it to this point, cross them over, okay. and then literally cross it back like this. It's that simple. Oh, cross it back. You see that? 
and then okay. press it down like that. I've never done it. You've okay, got to press Lizzie, it. Okay, Lizzie, you do it. Lizzie, okay? you do it. I honestly Lizzie don't do think I can. Let's let's let Lizzie. Well, do it. I think you can. <laughs> I think you can. Okay. So what? Come in, but come back in here though. Okay. How yeah, would we over. make the bites at this point? Well, well, at the, well, he's going to show you in just a gonna second. Show? He's going to show you in just a second. Now, what okay, they, so yeah, what's with the watch? Tell okay, so part. now what they've done, what he's done, um, so Nellie and Shannon are back here helping him. They've got the hottest this long? water that will yeah, come out of the tap. No and, you, and you've got, wait, wait a second, let's watch Lizzie. Take it like wait. this, cross them over. Cross, okay. cross them over. So right under left, and then twist it. Oh, okay, that? yeah, and I see down. that. And then, and then down. Oh, okay. yeah. Oh, so beautiful. Do you, want to, do you want to grease those up? Beautiful. Okay, so okay. now what do we do? So now okay. what we've got is you we... You come back we've over got, here. <laughs> now we're going to make it a pretzel, all right? It's going to become a pretzel at this point. Back in the 12th century, the <laughs> yeah. monks used Thank to dip you. this stuff into lye. Now, lye is toxic, and some, some purists back in Germany will tell you if you dilute the water down enough, you can still put them in lye, and some people still do that. We're not going to do that here. No. We substitute, <laughs> we substitute lye with baking soda. Okay. And a half a cup. What, a half a cup of baking soda goes into four Show cups. This. They can't see Goes this. into four cups of hot water, as hot as you can get the water coming out of the tap. Okay? Okay. Now, in this house, the water comes out of the tap hot. Okay. Okay. So we take we take the dough. Wait, wait, let me show. Wait, wait a second. We take the pretzel and okay. we dip it into the bath of hot water and, and soda and baking soda. So, so David, I, I'm noticing that it's not completely dissolved. dissolved. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, okay. Do the best you can to dissolve it. Okay. It's it, you know stir it around a little bit, but it doesn't have to be completely dissolved. Okay. Okay. okay? Once again, here goes the and dough. And so what is this doing again? This is what makes a pretzel a pretzel, okay? <laughs> okay. This is it. This is what gives it that distinctive taste. It what gives it that distinctive crust. This is what makes a pretzel a pretzel. If you don't do this bath, you got bread. That's oh, you you've got. got somebody that says, love you, David and Shanna. Oh, I want to well. make these. <laughs> Tell them thank you. Thank you. <laughs> is there anything We're... Big Dave can't do? <laughs> My only question is why he didn't make these for me on... I can't see the rest of their message. John Darrow, Darrow. Oh, oh Darrow, yeah, Darrow. I, I was on. I, yeah. He and I were on the mission a long, long time ago. We, I oh, I think that's this. what he was trying to say on the mission. Yeah, oh. I, I haven't seen John Darrow in years. He's a Secret Service agent. Uh, oh, last time I knew, he was a Secret Service down in Los Angeles. I don't know if he's still down there or not, but I hope I hope he is. It's good to hear from John. Oh, that's. And then so you know, nice. Brent worked with him in yes, the Secret Service. Yes. Yes. Oh my goodness. That's so goodness. funny. You both went into law enforcement. Yeah. No, John and I were together in Gardner, Maine. In oh. fact, you know, we were together. Uh, John and I were together in the fall of 1991 in Gardner, Maine, when the perfect storm hit New England. I don't know how many of you remember that, but it was about October. They made a movie about it, The Perfect Storm. Oh my! Oh, I, I do know that yeah, movie. That we were yes. in we were in Gardner, Maine, oh. when that hit. I can't believe that. Good, good, uh, good to hear from you, John. <laughs> <laughs> we survived the storm. John, come get okay. a pretzel. Okay. Okay. So okay. Ride right, again. right, right again. under left. Okay. And then twist. Right under left, twist. Okay. All right. I hope everybody's getting that. Ask if you now want the to Germans. See it the Germans will always have a little bit hanging off like this, and you'll see the thumbprints. Uh, you'll, the Germans always have that. Well, I loved when we were in Munich and we went to the Hofbrau House. Oh yes. And that was incredible. <laughs> to, their their um, pretzels were this oh, big. big. They don't they get the twist part. Big. You've got to do it okay. up close. Big as your head. Okay. Well, that's yes, all right. Yes. They had pretzels at the Hofbrau House as big as your head. Big as oh, your head. Oh wow. And they were selling them. Big for, as my head. A, selling them for <laughs> five. That's a big head. <laughs> five bucks a piece. Wasn't it? Yes, something like Five that. euro a piece, I think, was... I think you're right. Yes, the recipe is already posted, everybody, at thefoodnanny.com. So okay. they're... Okay, here we go. Okay. We got, Did, a, we got, show it we got okay. about 20 okay. inches again. Okay, okay, let's okay. get this. We Hold got about on. 20 inches. Okay, now we're going to take this and we're going to go right under left. Right. We got it at this point. Now twist. That's all you do. I don't know if I'm showing it very good. Twist. And then make sure you get them down. What do you mean? You're, I think you're showing a good. 
I know, your hands are kind of in the way. Well, I've got meaty paws. Did they, I so do I. Say. Did they see it? Do we need to try it? Well, I have Try to do it again. Can you get a. An well, the comment. Here? Can you kind of hold it up because the yes. comments block it? Okay, so that's hold part it of up the problem, too. And then after this, let's show some bites. Okay. Let's try show. one more time, they're saying, please. All right, all right. Okay. <laughs> Somehow. Again, it's an art. It's an art. This is not a science. Hold it up when you're doing it. Yeah. Can't, it, can't we do it that way? Why don't we can. get it and, and just put it like an aerial view right here? Yeah. Okay, go straight on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You guys, I'm not the okay. best camera person. It's okay, very there difficult. We are, there we are straight on. Right okay. over left. Right over left. You get to this point. Right over left, then twist it. Twist it. That's all you do. And you've got those folded arms that the monks wanted the kids to say their prayers. That's what it's all about. That's, Is that better? That's amazing. Okay, we've got one. Hey, now at this, okay, one. perfect. Now at this point, we have one. So we've got six okay. on a baking okay, sheet. Okay, great. So we've got, yeah, okay. we've got six on a baking sheet. And so we'll need two baking sheets to do them all. But David, now... <laughs> okay, sorry. We're the worst camera people. We're trying. Okay. What? You, what? They can't now, see? Now they finally no, saw it. Wait, talk now about the salt first. Talk hey, about the salt first. This salt, again, this is the French gray salt that the, all these <laughs> girls use, okay? And I'm telling you right now, I'm a believer. Like I said at the outset, <laughs> the French understand, they just do. They understand we'll food, they understand we can't salt art. Them all, though, because we're going to dip some. Okay, well, uh, we'll, yeah, okay. We're, we're, so, we'll salt four. We'll salt these. These. I'm a purist. I like them with the salt, all right? These are my favorite. And, these, these and, are and look and how much salt he's using. And David, oh. this is the gray. This is the gray. This salt. is not the fleur de sel. He's using. Did I say it was? No. Okay. You you said the French gray. Yeah, you're, and you're not grinding it up. You're not no, making no, it no. more fine. He's using it exactly the way we say. Okay. And what he's just done is he salted four, and now the last two he's keeping plain because he's going to show you how to dip that in butter and cinnamon and sugar in a minute. Those wouldn't be salted. No. The cinnamon no, and sugar not. ones, boy, probably not. So he's going to put those in the oven right now. Those go into the oven at 450. Okay. Oh, I love it. He, they're calling you a Manny Fanny. Well, that's right. That's what we're calling the men. Isn't that hilarious? Manny Fanny, okay. Pat came up with that. That's pretty oh, funny. I'll that's, take it. I'll take uh, it. That's funny. As long as they're not using too many pejoratives, that's good. Okay, well, we call it, it's a fan, we call them fannies. Well, that's great. But it's not referring to the fanny. I love it. I love it. Um, it's, it's amazing, Lizzie. <laughs> Manny fanny. Okay, let's do some You're a bites. Man. Let's do some bites here, ladies. Yeah. Okay? okay. We've got those in there. Now that goes eight minutes. Those are exactly eight minutes. You don't want to. You don't want to go much more than that because you're going to burn them. Now they used to. They sometimes they intentionally burn these things and leave them in a little longer because they're harder pretzels. When they're harder, it's it's actually something that they, they did that to preserve them. So and and the hard pretzel actually became more popular than the soft pretzel. Well, it sure did, and I think it was because it's they not could my get favorite. It out to, but they could get the hard pretzels out to the masses. They could get them a lot further out from the bakery they stay exactly. kept longer exactly. they, they didn't spoil as quickly so yeah the the, the hard pretzel became very in, well, it became well very, there's every kind now david there's i know every kind of mustard every kind of you name it you name and it. you can put anything on these things we're going to talk about that in a minute <laughs> but there's so many things you can put on okay so now we've got 20 inches rolled out okay okay just let's get them into bites boom it's easy now that's easy. Easy as can be. Anybody can We're do that. We're putting in bites. This is not hard stuff, ladies. Okay. <laughs> this is not hard. Okay. Look at oh this. my heavens. Okay. <laughs> now into the bath they go, but make sure that you get oh, them. Okay. Make sure that they're not too wet when they come out in terms of too much water dripping on them because you don't you want them to be crispy on the pan. It's okay. important. Oh, oh, oh you got, I just did it. I, mean, I need like a you ladle. You did exactly yeah. what I told you. Okay, not to. well, <laughs> that's the problem. I need like a ladle or something. Yeah, we need our, our Those fish. Those are way too wet. We need our fishnet ladle. Those are way too okay. wet. Where's the thing? You don't have a ladle in this house? Well, we do, I'm sure, somewhere. <laughs> I, you know, I don't do all the cooking. <laughs> this, like this, even. Here okay. we go. Okay, that's perfect. A slotted spoon. Yeah, that's just give me needed. something. Give me a slotted spoon, but yeah, get that water off okay. there. Oh that's my. a problem. Okay, what that's would it problem. do? What's the problem? Well, it, they don't get crispy enough. You want okay. a pretzel's got to be crispy. 
Okay. Right? Okay. That's all right. That's that's a good uh, lesson for everybody watching. <laughs> that is. You know. <laughs> okay, because you need a good spot. And you do, and what you don't want them to sit in this very long. It's just like a yeah, dip. Yeah, it's just a right? dip. That's all it is. All right. So dip. this this recipe is going to make a couple of dozen <laughs> bites. And that's what we said in well, the recipe. Well, it'll make a well, it'll make a lot of bites actually. Yeah. It depends on how many you're Or how for. big. Yeah, right. you're talking yeah, a lot. Well, of who bites. created the so, bite? Pretzel. Well, that's a good question. Is that Auntie Anne? I bet well, it was. <laughs> I Probably. bet it was. That's your your friendly airport Auntie Anne. <laughs> and I love Auntie Anne. I Anne's. love yeah. Auntie Mom, Anne's. you're like so far out no, of it. No, no, I'm so good. Oh. I love so Auntie Anne. Get these Anne's. things going easy easy. Into the bath they go. Okay. I think David should open his own pretzels. Yeah. Oh, I don't right know, here in Midway. I think he should. Well, I don't want to put other people out of business. <laughs> okay? Okay, because... Mom, you take them out now this okay. time. Oh, my heavens. This okay. bath thing. I'm okay. sorry. Well, the bath is tough for, for, for the unskilled. <laughs> but the... For... I, I, I know, and that's okay. That's all right. She's not used to it, ladies and gentlemen. No, we're not. But we're that's not... okay. We've never made pretzels. We've oh, my. I feel like this is becoming a Friendly competition. I'm gonna have him come in my kitchen, and I'm gonna show you what I make the best. Well, Lizzie, I know you do really well. <laughs> she's a very, Whatever. she's a very good cook. She Whatever. is, and everybody knows that. It's, it's amazing. Frankly, all of my mom's kids can cook. But, no, everybody can. But, but most of them, well, a good percentage of them, tr you know, the, the boys. Well, anyway. honestly, I don't. Th I think you're the only boy that's trying. Don't well, you, Mom? I don't know about that. I don't. Know I don't know that. if Brent no, or Joey I, try to cook. Well, I think they help, but I don't think they cook like David. Okay, no. is it okay to cut that silicone mat? Obviously, right? You're yeah, doing it. Yeah, it is. Well, again, once again, the French have have done it. Okay. <laughs> okay, but you want to know something funny? Mom always tells everybody not to get these. She doesn't I, like them. Well, I know. that's I'm not fine. Used it's to it's them. all preference, you know. Yeah. Frank, I love them. Yeah. You know, well, again, it's a French thing, and for those that are well developed and have their skills well honed, you know, they can use this. But those who don't, I don't know. I don't oh, know what I to know. tell you. I know. The, is, this, is this the one that's made for the cookie sheet? Yeah, I, I don't ever use it in the oven. We just use it. Yeah. You just use it well, for it this. Is, it, you know, I know a lot of people who use them, and I, David, we never had one growing up. And so I never used them. No. Okay, how about gluten-free? Well, tell them about the Camus. Well, that's, that's just it. That's what's great about Camus is you don't have to worry about gluten. That's not part of this. Um, if you're eating Kamut, well, there's well, it's not completely it. gluten-free. Right, but it's, but it's, it's different it's though. But amount. it's a different kind. It's a different kind. Yes. Okay. Okay. It's it's a less amount that of gluten that's in the Kamut, and especially in the all-purpose white, in the all-purpose white, because what they're doing, um, the brand, the the, the, the whole grain yeah. is yeah. they're they're eliminating a lot of the brand to yeah. make the white, and so there's. There's less gluten in Kamut to start with, but then when they make the white and get rid of a lot of the bran, you know, there's even less. Right. So I'm not a Kamut expert. And it's it's not causing like the inflammation like Shanna's trying to say. And like it causes less of that. That's, and that's what David has found. That's the big part. Is it's the inflammation that causes the trouble and that, that's what exacerbates your condition. Um, you know, it's, the, it's that inflammation of the body. So that's what you're trying to avoid, and that's what Kamut does so well. But the great part about Kamut is that it tastes better. Yeah, I not know. Not only is it better for you, not, is, not only does it, does it do your body better things, that's what it we tastes say. better. And yeah. it's, that's the whole thing. It's yeah. number one, taste. Right. Number two, uh, texture. And number three, digestibility. That's right. But it's just, it's the taste that we died over and fell in love with. And before we knew it, all the kids were grabbing bags, taking them home, emptying their white flour and saying, oh my goodness. I got rid of mine. I threw it out. I got rid of the white flour. When I, when I got the Kamut, I felt so much better and it tasted so much better. I literally threw out the white flour. I got rid of it. Yeah. yeah. And that's, and that's what Mr. Food Nanny made Lizzie do a year ago. And everybody in the family is now um, just using the Kamut. Um, the That's what's been amazing about it. It's not one it's, person has been like, this is not something I like, or they've been sad to change. No. Everybody's noticed a drastic Everything. difference. 
in taste, just like you said, but you feel so much better. That's what's amazing about it. Well, you don't miss it. anything. You don't miss anything. That's what's so great about it. You gain. Um, you gain. David, they are loving you. They are oh, so impressed. Oh. Well, listen, ladies. They say you are cracking them up. Oh. Can well, you substitute Kamu in everything? Yes. Absolutely. It is literally then it's your it becomes your all purpose okay, so we got flower. These. We've got these on I the don't tray. know why the lights keep going in Just and out. Just a minute. We've got right, look it. at all the bites. Look at all the bites. Now he's got his salt and I can't believe how liberal he, liberally, he's using this salt. Well, yeah. My heavens, you've got to get enough salt on here. Or it's, it's not, not a pretzel. It's not good. No. The Germans know about the salt. They get it. That's yeah. Why, you know. And the, and and don't the Germans have amazing traditions? They have amazing. traditions. I mean, with their with their Bavarian Oktoberfest, oh. and then their Christmas markets at Christmas. Yeah. And then, so you either need to go to Germany during the Oktoberfest. Mm -hmm. Or the Christmas markets, or go in the spring or summer to enjoy the scenery. But if you can't get to Munich, boy, this is the next best thing. Boy, we're I, not kidding. This is the next best thing. You you would swear that you've been there. You would swear <laughs> that you're eating a Bavarian pretzel when you're eating these. So if you can't they are make that it, good. if you can't make it to Munich, that's fine. You can have these at your house. Don't it's, worry, exactly. you can recreate it. Okay, exactly. look at this. Regular flour tastes like paper. That's funny. That I is, like that. I like and that then, too. Look what somebody said. Where do you buy it? So we actually sell the Kamut. So it's at the foodnanny.com. We sell the flour and the salt. They're both up on our website. Yep. Yeah. So this is our five pound bag with our bread recipe on the back. Our bread recipe that we made up just for our Kamut. And then, of course, this is our French salt that we sell in the, in the gray moist, which is, which is it's gray because it's closer to the clay. And then we've got our fleur de sel, which is the first layer off, um, of the, of the top, of the, it's of a the top finishing layer of the salt, salt. The, the salt form, which is the more finishing salt, which we use on eggs, top of pizza, um, oh wow, look at this. Oh, okay, wow. ladies. Oh wow. They're just there coming out of the oven. <laughs> Little Here. piece of Bavaria. Look, Dave, the Nefs love you. You need the German music in the background well, to make I it a home run. I typically have the German music going, and the Nefs know this. <laughs> yeah. Because when I was at the Nefs house doing this, I had the German music. Oh. Going. Now we don't want you to set this up. No, your, I need I need a hot pass. You guys you are, just put it right down. You guys are killing it. No, okay. it's, yeah, you guys are killing me. All right. And he uses our favorite hot pad that we sell. Right yep. here. I, well, you know what? I've it's got all. Favorite. I've got all the paraffin. <laughs> okay. But but you can set something hot on this. I just I just learned that. Look at those ladies. Oh That's what you want to see. The light. Okay. That's what so you want to see. So how long did you bake them at? Eight minutes. For show, uh, what show degree those. again? Four hundred and fifty for eight minutes. Those and are perfection. Wait, wait wait wait! You're gonna put the um, the ones without the salt right in the butter, but some you do salted too. So that you can do it all. You can do it like that, the way I just did they it. They can't see what you just did. You can Show dip it, it again. You can dip it or you can you can get some butter. So you butter. have melted butter. You got the melted butter and you apply it liberally right here, right to the tops of those babies. Oh, they look so <laughs> oh, good. Oh, they look so oh, good. So oh. Those are amazing. Or show them again what you were doing well, in those, the songs. Those are amazing. Okay. And let's Well, show them. Well, oh, let's dip, let's dip one here. Okay. Um David, we forgot Flip to show them the pepperoni one. No, no, you're no, doing you don't it. Want the you on don't the want the back. Oh, you don't? No. no. Oh gosh. Just the top. Okay. Just the tops. But then it goes into the cinnamon sugar. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. All right. Is that perfect? Is that I'm not perfect, really getting David? it everywhere. No, 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 that's good. That's good. You, you got it, oh you, oh I die for a cinnamon sugar oh, one too oh. oh my listen you can my put, mouth is watering you can put <laughs> anything you want on these things you can put sesame you can put poppy if you like it you can put garlic we've got garlic butter that we get from Costco it goes really really well on these things okay you have a couple of questions too okay. okay I know the light keeps going in and out is it because of the window and the oh okay oh sorry okay so what how long do these place? keep can you refrigerate or mm. freeze? <laughs> you absolutely can refrigerate and freeze these. I wouldn't refrigerate them though. The one thing you want to be very careful with these things is this. Do not do not put these in a plastic bag because they will sweat. If you're going to put them in put them in paper or cover them with that uh, what, what's that baking? Parchment. Parchment, Parchment paper. Right. And and the thing is is that's how we treat our French baguettes. 
We never want to put our French baguette into plastic because it will take away the crispness. Don't 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 ever put don't ever put some a crusty piece Raisin of bread, bread. An artisan in or a crusty piece of bread in plastic. Exactly. Don't ever do that. People make that mistake this. often. And yeah. we, dang it, we should have had the German music going. Oh, we should have. Okay, we um, um we what about you know, everybody loves that everything bagel seasoning. Okay, yes. but do you have a cheese sauce you love with them? Yes, and it's in our first book. Yes, the but what sauce. do we love? We love, we love our Alfredo, Alfredo. and that's our marinara. The one you get the most. Well, that's yeah, Shanna likes the Alfredo. I'm a purist. I don't you know it's good. It's good. Or, or our the dipping is good, but I, I like it just like this. This yeah. is the way I love it. But you can do so many things. Things. So we gave ideas, David, on the recipe we wrote our Alfredo sauce, our marinara sauce that are in our books, and our cheese sauce that are in our books. We also gave the idea of your cinnamon and sugar, and then my favorite is the Parmesan. With oh, the either Parmesan. Pine yeah, so they're saying, how the would you do the pepperoni ones? Okay, so we need to show that, David. Okay, show. But we've got some more, we've got some, we've got more, got dough some more dough here. here. So where's, let's show that. Where's, the, okay. where's my little uh, French? Yeah, right here. Yeah. No, Here's your French mat. Where's my French it's, mat? It's he French. can't live without I guess it. Maybe we're going to have to go to it. I'm going go, to go buy one. I don't know he doesn't right. use it for a cookie sheet, he says. So let's just use it for this. I don't know what you guys are thinking. I, yeah. <laughs> are you baking and cooking the bite size at the same the same temp? and? Yes. The, yes. Same. Less time, right? No, no, no. Same time. Same amount of time. Yes, yeah, same, yeah, amount, same of time. amount of time. Okay, we're going to get this out again. It looks a lot like pizza dough at this point. Okay, and now we're going to show the pepperoni. We're going to show you the pepperoni. We're going to get this out here. And Some are saying it's their favorite life ever. Oh, well, my, oh my heavens! Yay. I guess we need to invite David. Um, well, no, you, you need, he, you, we need to work through all the boys, you know? I, you, yeah, let's get the rest of them on. Well, that's true. That's true. <laughs> they don't do it. They don't, they're not passionate like this. You've got to be passionate. you got to be passionate. Oh. If, you're, if you're not passionate, don't put your hands in this stuff. And you know what's funny? <laughs> David, you know what's funny is what's I'm so passionate about like my baked goods and stuff. Oh yeah. When we were at the wedding, the one man said to me, "You are passionate." I was like, "Please take a bite. Take a bite of that cake." Oh, we did. And it's so true. It's like if you put your whole heart and soul into it, it tastes that much better. Yes, it does. It, does. You can it feel really it. does. You can taste it. it. You can taste the passion. Yeah, you absolutely you can. can. And I, I think that's why we're we're sharing every single thing we know because we have the passion for it. Absolutely. We couldn't wait. We couldn't wait for David to come on. Okay, so can you freeze and bake later? Absolutely, you can do that. You can. Um, I, I personally would, would bake them and then freeze them, but I, I think you could probably get away with that. I don't know, though. I have never done that. That's a good question. Um, but I think you probably could. I think you could too. That is hilarious. Your lives are always super entertaining, but this has been the most entertaining one yet. Wow. Oh, oh wow. Know. David's going to take over the whole Instagram. Well, maybe he'll take over. Only this because is him. there's so many nuts. Yeah, well, listen, I, you, you're dealing with a nut family, <laughs> and they know this. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, this is going to be. I know, he's only missing a food nanny apron. I know. I know, he wear one. didn't want to wear one. I was going to do it. I was going to do it, but uh, <laughs> I should do a food nanny apron. Okay, you get these out of the way. We're going to go 20 inches again. Here we go. I mean, you guys have seen this. You know okay. what this is about. Okay, we're now going I'm 20 get inches. This ready because okay. I'm going to get this ready. Okay. Here we go. These are a little bit bigger. I don't know why we're not taking a bite of the hot one that just came out. Well, that's oh. a very good question. That is. I mean, you got to test them. Yeah, well, we sure do. They looked let's, amazing. Let's test the cinnamon sugar. Let's test the cinnamon let's sugar. Let's break the knot. Let's oh. let's break. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> well, break the oh. knot like the Swiss do. Well, let's okay. Give me a bite let's, of this. let's do it. Yeah, okay. Oh. 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 Oh you my. Guys. Oh my. It's better than Bavaria. I'm uh -huh. not kidding. Uh huh. It's better than Bavaria. Look at his face. I love he it. loves it. <laughs> I love he it. loves I, it. I love the passion of it. I love oh, the passion of it. That's what I love. It's, it's amazing. I love the passion. Oh David, my. you got to have some. He's got to have a bite. That's amazing. Oh, it's amazing. That oh honey my. makes it. That, does the honey mm -hmm. make it? The honey makes it. The honey's oh, very important. We are honey nuts. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Nuts. We are honey nuts. The honey makes it. Okay. Oh my okay, heavens. so we've got this going, Mom. Okay, now we've got... We need the bath. Okay, we need the bath. Okay. Does it matter if it's cooled off a little? Do we have a... Tray? No, it's not hot anymore. Does that but matter? It doesn't matter if it's cooled down a little. It's okay, but you can reheat it in the microwave. 
Should we? Yeah, probably. Okay. It's better if it's warm. <laughs> so let's get the bath reheated. <clears throat> you would never do these on parchment, would you? No. Have you ever done it? No. Because, you know, I'll tell you why. You want them crusty. Let me, let me show you. You want, you want the back to look like this. You really want the back to be crusty. This thing, again, it's not a pretzel if it's not crusty. That's part of what you're looking for. You want to have that little bite to it. It's got to be crusty and soft, crusty on the outside, soft on the inside. That's what you're looking for here. Yeah. Oh, wow. Very yeah, okay. Important. Okay. These might need to go like a minute less. Okay, so maybe. I know, I'm shocked that the bites go for the okay. same amount of time, but okay, bring well, those I over always here. Them, but, but again, they're crispier. Okay, they're crispier. So now here we've got the bath. Let's get it. Yeah, show the bites. Okay. Look so how good they look. The so we've got the bites, but David needs to put the butter on these bites. Yep. Now, I know you can either dip them in the butter, David, or oh my. Or do you prefer to... It depends on what you're looking for. Again, the, this is... It, it, it's it's how you want it. Okay? Well, we want it the way you do it. Yeah, so that's right? why we ask. Yes, that's, that's right. We don't know. I take them and I go and I just dab the butter on liberally right here. Pan is There's hot. No, the pan is really hot. Really hot. And usually you would put it down. You probably wouldn't hold it like that. No, okay. exactly. <laughs> that's okay. And I'm trying to hold it up for our viewers. Okay. Mm -hmm. The little rewards. And that's what they are, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> little rewards. I think everybody oh, needs to make goodness. these for the new year Well, tonight. you'd be insane if no, you No, a lot of people <laughs> want to make it tonight. Well, you'd be crazy. How long does it take from start to finish? David, to do. you'd be crazy oh, if you come on. Didn't. These take literally five minutes to, to whip up. You know, you get, you get total eight minutes with the kneading, and then you let them raise for an hour, and boom, you're ready to go. I mean, these I take, mean, they're nothing. You need to do this tonight. Look it's too this. much fun. Oh, my goodness. Okay, it's so, so we're, we Okay, so right that. here, you're in, okay. you want this. Okay. Here comes the bath again. Okay, okay we're here not comes in the, the bath again. Here comes the bath. Here comes the bath that makes it the pretzel, okay? <laughs> oh. That's important. Oh, okay. the bath that makes it the pretzel. So, Mom, you're showing okay. them how to make it now, into a David, pepperoni. Now, David, you... No, Mom, you go ahead and show this. You do that. That's okay, good. all right, well, hold it up. Hold it up. So, so where did you see. find the recipe? You've made it your own. Well, David's made it his own. Well, I, I took it from a variety of recipes that I found, and then I, and then I used some ingredients of my own. Um, so what we're doing is we have fresh Parmesan cheese right here, and I'm going to load it on this pretzel. Okay. See, perfect. Is David the youngest up? brother? And he's actually, he's the, actually oldest, the oldest, and I'm the youngest, so that's yes. what's so funny. And then we're taking pepperoni, and this is how they do it at Auntie Anne's. I'm just copying them because... If I'm ever in the airport and it's lunchtime, oh, it's amazing! This is what I'm eating. This is I this is a hearty lunch here. For this, this. Is the, the Parmesan with the pepperoni. Boy, that is perfect. So, perfect. David, is is that the pan is grease? Somebody the asked. Yes, the pan is. Do we have grease. enough Parmesan on there? Yeah, I think we do. You could put as much or as little as you want. I wanted. think a little more. Again, nobody told Rodin how to uh, you know make us you know. How to sculpt, right? <laughs> and I'm That's not going right. to tell you how much cheese to put on your pretzels. Okay, I'm going to I'm not going to do it. Okay, I'm going to Oh, my heavens. Okay. okay. Go eight minutes. Okay, eight minutes. Okay, a while eight back, minutes. you mentioned David or one of your brothers like making the thick crust pizza, even though you guys don't like the thick crust pizza. Oh, yes. That's him. Oh, That's yeah. him. That is, yeah. Absolutely. Well, we started out with that you, pizza. He needs to show us the thick it's crust the, sometimes. It's the, East, it's the East Coast Sicilian style. Yeah, but David, um, it's the down. pizza that we more started down. out with 40 Sorry, years ago, really over 40 yeah, years yeah. ago, yeah. right? Right, right. Oh, and, and that's the crust that you're still making, but you like to do it on a baking sheet. I do, and that's, that. well, that's how they do it on the East Coast. If you're getting a little bit of a thicker crust, if you're doing the Sicilian style, you do it in the cookie sheet. I know. Okay, and, down and, the, and the best way no, to do it, I way. think, is in a, a, a cookie sheet that is... Um, made out of the, the, the really uh oh well the uh, cast iron the cast iron right yeah, the cast iron you. but we don't i know we can do it in our cast iron pan because we don't have a cast iron cookie sheet but it is remember before we got the pizza pans at, at home mm -hmm. we were doing it in the same baking sheet yeah absolutely. that's what we were doing for years before we got the pans and where did we get the vans remember you were working there 
Well, with Pizza, Pizza Hut. Hut. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Okay, it says, please tell David that Justin Hemingway says hi. Oh, yeah, Justin Hemingway. Hemingway. Yeah. Hemingway. Yeah. He's a lieutenant over at the, uh, He's the best. Summit County Sheriff's Office. One of, one of the guys I used to work with back in the day. So oh, tell him hi that's for me. So that's nice. great. That's so nice. So David is an expert at pizza too. Mm -hmm. Been doing it since he was 16. I don't know that I'm comfortable with the word expert, but we'll, <laughs> we'll go with it. So it, he uses the, our basic pizza dough recipe. Basic pizza dough. It's the one that he's always used. We now do it into super thin Italian crust. David has never adapted to that. He kept it. It's good. <laughs> oh, I know you like it, but you've kept it the more thick, like yeah. we did from the get-go. Yeah, I, I know. Yeah, I don't know how, Again, I, okay. I, I, I'm the purist. I'm more of a purist. That's purist. Just, that's the way it is. I, you're, I you're telling me you don't like the new Tuscan? I do, I do. It's not that it's not dough. good. It's not that that's not good. It's, yeah. it's just, look, it, I like the originals. I do. I like to so he likes our original pizza, the basic crust that's in book two and book one that he still puts on the cookie sheet. And I think we should come back and let him show how he does yeah, his pizza. Yeah, I guess let's see that. Yeah, I think we need to. And anything else that he's perfecting? David, is there anything else you're working on? No, <laughs> no, right now I'm not working on anything else. <laughs> you've got the... The, you've got the um, the pretzels and the pizza. But I can tell you, there, you gotta get in who the knows? Camera. There may be something else I'm working on in the immediate future. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll see what surprises. It's a new year, right? We'll see what surprises come in 2019, okay, ladies? Uh, let's not let's not get ahead of ourselves. Okay, well, do you have anything else? Do you have any more questions? I think he showed it perfectly. I do, too. I he think was, it was perfect. Well, thank you. He was amazing. Amazing. Thank you. We amazing. love him to death. And we matched again, and we don't even <laughs> Plan it. No, we didn't even plan We're obsessed it. with our new aprons, Leisure yeah. Lane Co. Um, don't forget that you can order our new aprons. We're getting all the pre-orders figured don't out. Don't leave. And so don't forget if you want to order these. These are so amazing. Yeah. Um, is a man style apron in the future? There should be. Maybe that'll be my next project. <laughs> How about that? Oh, design it? No. In our color. Yeah. Oh. You know these are French. I know they're. That is French blue. There's no question. No, and, and the style. French style. Yeah, it's very yeah. nice. <laughs> it's very nice. Okay, can you feminine. post the recipe? Yes, the recipe should be already posted. If it's not, I'll do it right after this. It's at thefoodnanny.com. We'll do a swipe up with um, the pictures. But this is the perfect. This he yeah. really has made this perfection. You've been working on it for what, over a year? Oh yeah, no, it's been. He's a been perfecting years. it ever for... since he came back from Bavaria. Yes, yeah. right. Since yeah. 2016. We're calling these David's Bavarian pretzels because he's made his own recipe. Um, we've shared it with you. It's posted. Um, we need to go back. I, he showed you some things on this live that we may have left out of the recipe as That's far okay. as. Um, how you do it exactly. Well, we'll post the live so that they can always rewatch it. Yeah. That's so funny. Your friend again, John, says, I may suggest a Dave and Brent pizza episode I'd watch. Okay. Oh, All right. okay. You know, a lot of people may watch that one. That would be good. <laughs> what about Joey? <laughs> yeah, we'll throw Joey in the mix too. It'll be even better. So we have three sons. David is our oldest son and our oldest um, child. So he, um, should we tell him your age? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, what's the problem with that? No, yeah. yeah, I'm not trying to hide it. I'm, yeah. 40, I'm 46 years yeah. old. Yeah, he's be 46, 47 in April. Be 40, and guess what? David and I were both married on the same day. He celebrated his 25th wedding anniversary yesterday. That's right. And, oh, I mine, was right. and mine was 48. 48. Wow. Congratulations, oh, Mom. David <laughs> is 21 yeah. years old younger than me and so every year that i get older i say david you're only 21 years behind me. well you were 20 when you had me well uh, yeah i guess i was 20. i thought you were 21. No, well was 20. it was one one month one month prior to 21. that's right but so we I all got 20. married in december that was dumb i, I know why he got married in december <laughs> yeah I'm not a big i don't like december, having an anniversary in december December's i'm like hard. that is hard so david's right behind me guys He's he's only twenty years younger. That's and you right. say you're a hundred, so. and I'm almost a hundred. So everybody, we've got a great family. We appreciate David. Um, we appreciate everybody who contributes to our family dynamic. 
his darling wife and and daughters. We should show her. Yeah, we should get her in. She's here. holding the I'm camera. Here. We'll show well, her. Well, we appreciate time. these guys. They do a great job. They represent the family <laughs> That's well. That's nice. And they absolutely, you know, they, they put it out there. They, they take care of the Edmonds name. So. Uh, That's, That's so very nice. nice. So we'll see you all again. We want to wish you all the happiest of New Year. Yes. Happy New Year. Oh, Happy my New Year. Year. Make those Bavarian pretzels. Make your family happy. And yes. 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 Give them, them what they want. Text the pictures. That's right. Give them what they want, ladies. Yeah. Give them what they want. And what do they want? You'll never they be alone. They want Bavarian pretzels. You'll never be alone. You'll never be alone. You'll never be, yeah. You'll never be alone okay. if you make Bavarian pretzels. It's a pretzels. bold statement, but it's a true statement. That's right. Oh, it's so great. It was the best. Oh. Thank you. Happy Thank New you. Year, everybody. Happy New Year. See you. Let me in.